seemed like only yesterday that I addressed you during the 2020 holiday season. And here we are once again for yet another celebration. How quickly time flies. The holiday season is widely regarded as the most wonderful time of the year. It is a period during which family and friends come together to spend valuable time and also a time for reflection. When we look back at the past year and we look with hope to what is to come in the ensuing year. The highlight of 2021 was the general election, which saw the Labour Party return to government with an overwhelming mandate. In Denry North, you went to the polls for a third consecutive time to repose your confidence in my ability to champion the cause of our community in the parliament and wider scheme of government. We completed the hat trick, three in a row. This was a victory for not just the supporters of Labour, but instead for all the patriots of the Valley because you know how much we get accomplished when we work together in government. I want to assure all the constituents of Denrinov, regardless of political affiliation, whether you voted Labour, UWP, Independent, or you opted not to vote at all, that I will endeavor to be the representative who serves all constituents equally and without favor. The year 2022 will see the reinstatement of the work program that distinguished us as a thriving constituency during the period 2011 to 2016. Our best years in terms of access to resources and project execution were between 2011 and 2016. In the coming year, we will be rolling out an impressive work program, which will include, but will not be limited to, the reinstatement of the Larissus Health Center, the complete rehabilitation of the Austin Hill Road, the completion of the Alemon Road in Grand Riviere, the resurfacing of the Rich for Ring Road, starting near the entrance of the Rich for Combined School, all the way to the Grand Ravine Main Road, so that Rufus, Johnson, and Selma, Pastor Alfred, Linnet, and others who live in that area will finally get the relief they deserve. We'll be pursuing a land rationalization program to ensure that lands belonging to the government are developed to allow constituents, in particular young professionals, to acquire lots to build their homes. The restoration of the Larissus playing field to the pristine conditions that made it one of the best community playing fields in the OECS is also a priority. In 2022, the young people of the Mabuya Valley, like their counterparts in other parts of our country, will be afforded increased access to higher education by way of scholarships and training programs in order to enhance their skills and make them more marketable not just here in St. Lucia, but anywhere in the world. The Canadian Farm Workers Program and the Cruise Ship Employment Initiative will also be tapped into on behalf of our young people who seek employment. Other unemployment relief programs are expected to benefit the people of Denry North. In the education sector, our government in the first few months has indeed focused on putting students and educators first. We paid facilities fees for approximately 25,000 students in the primary and secondary schools. We have also paid the CXCCSEC fees for mathematics and English for our Form 5 students in an effort to make education more accessible for our children and less burdensome for parents. To assist our children with the distributed learning method, we provided approximately 1,200 MiFi devices to households and we have already secured more devices for distribution in the school system. Barring no major unforeseen circumstances, the government via the Ministry of Education will in the new year roll out or make available to the students and teachers in our school system approximately 10,000 devices to be used as instructional aids. In the area of sustainable development, we are committed to building awareness domestically on climate-related issues and pay closer attention to our nationally determined contributions, which signal how our country intends to play its part in reducing global warming. Our government will also place increased focus on adaptation and building our resilience to climate events. The continued trucking of garbage from the south of the country to the Deglo landfill at an approximate monthly cost of $76,000 cannot be allowed to continue for much longer. A suitable waste disposal site in the South has been identified and early in the new year, 
cabinet will decide on the way forward. I am very optimistic about the fortunes of our country in the year 2022. I want to thank the many individuals and groups who supported and worked with me in 2021. I want to thank Almighty God for health and fortitude and for his mercies throughout 2021. My family and loved ones, my constituency group in Denry North, my campaign team, my constituency office staff, Damien and Alfio, and Miss Louison previously. My well wishes in the diaspora, Orsi, Nathani, Candy Kane, and others. My permanent secretary and line staff in the Ministry of Education. My permanent secretary and her line staff in the Department of Sustainable Development. Heads and line staff of the statutory organizations in my ministerial remit. My cabinet and parliamentary colleagues. The Honorable Dr. Kenny Anthony for his continued guidance. And last but not least, the Honorable Prime Minister, Philip J. Pierre, for his continued confidence in my ability to handle and lead key government agencies in the National Development Trust. Season's greetings, everyone, and best wishes to you and your loved ones in 2022. C'est plaisir, moi, encore encore pour adresser Noël et puis l'année 9. Saison Noël, c'est un temps que nous pour apprécier la famille et puis le monde qui pour nous. C'est aussi un saison que nous pour catcher les en les barrages qui fait en l'année qui passe et puis l'année neuf là qui va venir. L'année 2021, au cours de l'année 2021, c'était l'année qui tenait chaque difficulté. Mais merci bon Dieu, nous chapé. Merci bon Dieu, il peut se la vie nous et merci bon Dieu, nous ici encore encore que nous avons parlé et puis fait connaissance et puis on a l'autre. On est pour l'occasion pour souhaiter tout gens d'Henry North en constituency moi tout cette lycéen qui a été en cette ici même quand cette lycéen qui a été en l'autre pays en joyeux Noël et puis tout ça qui bon en l'année 9 2022 merci tout le monde merci souhaiter tout le monde tout ça qui bon and once again i want to take the opportunity to wish all my fellow St. Lucians at home and abroad in particular my constituents of Denry North a most wonderful celebration during the festive seasons and the very, very best of 2022.